Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm actually really, really excited to film today for the first time in absolutely ages. I actually saw this video, I probably should find my t-shirt. I saw this video uploaded by another YouTuber a couple of days ago. It came up on my home feed. I wasn't even subscribed to her and I thought that's such an amazing idea for a video. So I'm going to link her original video down below because I don't believe in ripping people off. So if you want to check that out, definitely do. Basically, she went through her makeup collection, pulled out all the stuff she didn't like, and said she'd do her makeup with it. So that is why this video is called Full Face of Makeup I Hate. <laughs> this is going to be so interesting. So I've pulled out a lot of stuff out of my collection. Now, my trouble is when I don't like something, usually I try to pass it off to someone else that it might work for. Also, I need to say that some of you might really enjoy these products. And if you do, that's cool. It's just different stuff for different folks. You know yourself. So let's get, let's get straight into it. I hope I have everything I need. Some of these might surprise you. I'm actually going to go straight in with foundation and this is going to come as no surprise because I did upload this recently. I'm going to use the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. Now, if you want to see the review, click here. I'll leave a little box there and I will also link it in the description box down below for phone or tablet users. Oh, this foundation is so bad. Oh, I'll, I'm also going to try using tools I don't like as well. So it's going to be like really working with the worst in my collection. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see how we get on with this. Oh my god, this is such a shit foundation. Yeah, this is what I had to do in the other video too. I thought the packaging was going to be really cool. So the packaging was kind of crap. For me because it doesn't work and I found it didn't sit well on my skin either it was really kind of oily and greasy I'm going to use a flat foundation brush I don't like using these they're a very traditional brush I just don't like it so we'll see how we go oh okay okay already fucking hate this oh man look how bad this is I'm gonna zoom you in oh my god this is so bad like, I mean, using this for any foundation, I find leaves it quite streaky, but with this, which is patchy anyway, ugh. Okay, this is going to be a pretty negative video, a bit of a whinge bag fest. Okay, that's probably as good as I'm going to get. I'm going to try and build a bit of coverage in this area here. Okay, so I was able to get a little bit more coverage, but it's also streaky as shit. I give up. For concealer, and I'm going to use this. Might come as a surprise because a lot of people love this concealer. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer. Now, I love Kat Von D, but I really did not get along with this concealer. And I'm going to use it with a traditional concealer brush, which is like basically a smaller version of that foundation brush. This is going to be good. I'm just going to take some, pop it under my eye. I don't even know how I'm going to blend this out. Usually I would use my beauty blender, but obviously... That's one of my favourite tools, so I can't use it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I have a good, I have a good idea. So I have this um, flat brush. I know Real Techniques has their version as well. Real Techniques one is called the Pointed Foundation Brush. And I'm going to use this just kind of to disperse this concealer a bit. I'm just going to pat. Do you know what? This has actually turned out kind of good. <laughs> the concealer. Not bad, not bad. I'd love to hear, are there any products that you just couldn't get along with? I'd be really interested to hear actually, if you want to leave a comment with one foundation, one concealer, one powder that you just could not get on board with. And it would even be even more controversial and interesting if they're things that people rave about. Like I have loads of products that people raved about that I really didn't like. And I don't want to like be real like, oh, this is shit because people can take real offense to that. But like the same things don't work for everyone. I suppose that's okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighting using that same concealer. I'm really trying to make the best of a bad situation here. Okay, I'm going to set my under eye area. I don't really have a brush that's suitable for that, that I don't like. So I'm gonna to have to use one I do like. So I'm going to use the Inglot 4SS stipulation. I do really like this brush. And I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals Concealer in the color Well Rested. This was like raved about on YouTube years ago. No one talks about it anymore, which pisses me off. 
What I don't like about this is it cakes and it creases and it makes my under eye area look dry and crappy. Do you know what? I'll just show you. I'm gonna zoom in even further. So, you just apply it under your eye like this to set your concealer. And it's meant to brighten and illuminate and make you look flawless. It just makes me look like 105 years old. Can you see how crappy that is? Ew. Now, I'm gonna set the rest of my skin using the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. This is just like cake in a pan. I, I really don't like it. I'm going to use my MAC 187 Duo Fibre Brush. This is actually an all right brush. It's just I don't like it for powder. Here we go. It creases, it cakes, it separates. Can you see the way the foundation didn't really take there? I hope you can see how patchy this is. Now I'm going to put some dimension back into my face. I was sent this by Sunkist a while ago and the minute I opened it I was like, oh this is gonna be so bad. This is a bronze architect. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is labelled as a contour colour. It's so warm. Looking forward to this. To contour, I'm going to use this brush. This is a Blank Canvas Cosmetics F42 brush. Don't particularly enjoy this brush, but we'll see how we go. I dip it into the contour colour and try and contour using it. Oh man, this is bad. <laughs> I'm not deliberately trying to make this makeup look bad, by the way. I'm trying to look presentable because I do have to go out in public. Just in case you think I'm trying to make it look really bad, I'm not. I'm trying to make the best of it. <sighs> we have a bronzer colour here, which I'm going to use now as well because I just want to add some sun -kissedness. They're chunky, they're choppy, they don't blend well and they're not good colours. So there's nothing going for this palette thus far anyway. For blush. Now this is kind of a love-hate kind of blush. This is by Hard Candy. I got this in the States a couple of years ago. It's in the colour Living Doll, right? And it is an absolutely gorgeous colour, but it's so shimmery. It's kind of hard to pull it off sometimes. So I am going to pop some of this on and show you what I mean. I'm going to use the Inglot 15 BJF brush, which is a blush brush. I got this about bloody 10 years ago. And I actually like it for powdering, but just not for blushing. Blushing? Blushering. Applying blush. So, I don't know, can you tell there like how luminous that is? Like, I mean, it is pretty, but it's just really hard to pull off. I look like, as the name suggests, a living doll. Next, I'm going to highlight, even though I don't really need it. And I'm going to use the highlight that comes in this palette as well and an e.l.f. small stipple brush. Oh man. That highlight isn't actually that bad. It's just with that blush, it's just like overkill. Oh man, I look ridiculous. I'm gonna go back in with my MAC brush just to try and make me look presentable. All right then, oh, I'm going to use a pencil for my eyebrows that I don't particularly like. This is the Catrice Cosmetics Eyebrow Stylist in the colour Don't Let Me Brown. Smart. Look, I feel like Catrice is getting a bit of a bashing during this. I usually really like Catrice products, but I have so much of them that there's bound to be some duds. So I'm just gonna brush out. This isn't actually a horrendous brow product. I kind of regret putting it in now, but it's the worst product I have, but it's still quite good. It's quite a hard product and I find it difficult to get my shape right. I always seem to end up with a really thick brow up here when I use this, as opposed to using like an eyebrow brush and powder. Maybe it's because I'm just really bad with an eyebrow pencil. That could actually be very much it, but still, I don't get along with this product. I don't like the shape I get. Yeah, they look ridiculous. Now, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use a palette I found at the very back of my drawer. Oh my god, my eyebrows. Um, this is the Urban Decay, I think it was called the Sustainable Shadow Box. 
it's not actually written on it. And um, this is from Yonks ago, and it was back when Urban Decay weren't as good as they are now with making eyeshadows. So I'm going to give this a go. I'm mentally preparing myself. Okay, I'm going to take the colour YDK and pop it all over the eyelid. And I'm kind of like, you know what, this isn't actually that bad. And I'm blending that right up into the crease because there is no matte shadow in this palette. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that Urban Decay. And now as a pop of colour, I'm going to take Flip Side, which is this like turquoise, tealy kind of colour. I'm going to pop that underneath my eyes using the um, flat shader brush from e.l.f. See, when I really don't like an eyeshadow palette, I usually just get rid of it straight away. And I mean, like, most eyeshadow palettes have some good shades. And then for the inner corner, just using a generic e.l.f. blending eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take the colour Uzi, which is this kind of silver. Now, I remember this is very chunky. I'm popping this on the inner corner of my eye and hoping I don't blind myself. Isn't an Uzi like a gun? Very sparkly. Okay. I'm going to apply eyeliner now and this is the Stila Stay All Day Washproof Liquid Eyeliner in the colour Dark Brown. I just found this was quite skippy on the eyelids. But we'll see how we go. Everyone raves about this eyeliner and I just didn't understand the hype. Yeah, okay, this one came out perfect but this one is an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh well. I'm going to use my eyelash curlers I don't particularly like and this just came in a Christmas set. It's just a Ted Baker one. It's a rose gold set. I just find they pinch me a lot. And I don't actually have a mascara I don't like so I'm going to just use the one I have which is the Essence Lash Princess which is actually quite good. Okay, I'm obviously getting sloppy now because I have to get mascara in here but I will get rid of that in a second once it's dried. Four lips. I actually really like the Essence lip liners but this one just doesn't suit me. Just the colour is not nice on me and this is the colour Wish Me A Rose which is number 12. I'm just going to line my lips in that. Lips are lined and I'm going to use this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the colour Istanbul. I thought this was such a gorgeous colour and like it is a gorgeous colour and the product is decent but just it looks horrendous on me. Let me show you. I think we can all agree that that colour is horrific on me. I'm just going to be back in a second. I'm just going to get rid of this mascara. I'll be right back. And I am back. I think we can unanimously agree I have looked better. I'm going to zoom you in for full effect so you can see exactly how my makeup is looking up close and personal. But I mean, as a full face goes, I mean, I have seen worse makeup on people. I definitely have seen worse. But this is just kind of confirmed that I really don't like the Becca foundation. But it's kind of surprised me in that I kind of like the couple of shadows I used from this. So yeah, let me know what you think of this video. If you did enjoy, please give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.